Hello everybody, this is Captain Jirwa bringing you another narrated Pokemon Showdown battle. This battle is a Yu Yu battle, and I was using an RMT that I found on Smogun that I liked that uh, does really well without using Heracross or Chandelure, so yeah. <laughs> um, I'm gonna lead off with my Glygar just because I want to set up my Stealth Rocks. And he actually does have the Hidden Power Ice on his Mian Chat, but that still doesn't do as much as I would th you would think it would do, but uh. So I'm pretty sure he's choice since I didn't see a life orb, so I'm going to go into my Sharpedo. And I do did think he was going to switch into Roserade here, so I go for the Crunch, but he does bring in his Snorlax. And unfortunately, after Leftovers, that is not a 2 KO, but I just want to get some damage on the Snorlax because when I was looking at his team, he has a very threatening team with a... Gligar and Snorlax core and I knew I really needed to break that core so that either means killing his Snorlax or killing his Gligar. So I go into my Mian Chow on his Snorlax because I knew I'd threaten him out so uh, yeah he gets a rest there but um so I'm just gonna go for the U-turn as he switches into his Gligar because he can basically switch between Gligar and Snorlax infinitely until I kill one of them. So I'm going to go into my Sharpedo again, because it is a physical attacker that can put pressure on both his Gligar and his Snorlax. And I know this won't kill, but I just want to get this thing on a low HP. And I know afterwards I can just go into my Meloetta Mello and threaten him out. But now, he has a very low HP Gligar, which is not going to be a very good Gligar. So, um, here in a Snorlax, I'm just going to switch into my Choice Banded Rhyperior. And I know if I can go for the Rock Blast here and basically kill a Snorlax and kill his Gligar, uh, either one. But he actually whirlwinds me out to my Mian Chow, which is kind of even better because I can go for the High Jump Kick here. And that is a definite 2 at KO on this Gligar. And he does not want to accept the fact that his core is broken yet. So he goes into his Roserade. Um, but that is a 2 at KO on this Rosary, even though it resists it because its defense is bad. And I guess, uh, the moment he switched it out, his core is broken, so, uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, anyway, the core is broken. So I know I'm in a really good situation now. And here I go back into my Gligar, and I think he, okay, yeah, he just high jumps kicks there. And since my Gligar is at higher health, I'm actually able to take two of those. So I'm able to just roost up and get my health back to a good range. And he brings in his Kingdra. Now, Kingdra is a huge threat in RU. And I do have my Rotom. And this thing isn't as bulky as it could be, but it has enough bulk to just take this Draco Meteor. And I did calc this. And that was basically max damage that he got there, so I would have lived it regardless. And I get a Thunder Wave on him, which basically renders him useless, because he's not going to be at speeding anything, and I'll just be able to take him out with a Leaf Storm. So that is one huge threat gone. Um, Rotom, Rotom uh, Cut is really, really good. And Yu Yu, by the way. It's, in a lot of ways, it's even better than Rotom Heat, so yeah. Uh, he goes for the HP Ice on my Rotom. I guess he just did that because he knew it could kill me, and if I chose to switch to my Gligar, it would do a lot of damage, but yeah. But now that I know he's locked in again, I can go into my Meloetta, which has spectacular special defense, so it can tank that, and I knew he would go into a Snorlax here, so I go into my Mian Chow. It actually probably would have been smarter for me to go into my Choice Banded Rhyperior there because his Gligar is gone, so I could have just Earthquaked, which has 100% accurate, and that would have o code all of his Pokemon. Pokemon, but I don't, so yeah, that's that. But now I can bring in my Choice Band and Rhyperior on his Arcanine because Arcanine just cannot do anything to Rhyperior. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just going to Earthquake and kill one Pokemon of his, which ends up being his Roserade. And yeah, that goes down, and he brings in his Mianchu, and I calc how much his High Jump Kick would do. And it actually had no chance of killing this Rhyperior either, which is pretty impressive. Because this thing just has max HP and max attack. And it was able to tank a high jump kick. That is pretty awesome. Uh, but that might not have been the smartest move. Because now I can't take a hit from this uh, Arcanine. So I go into my room and I'm just as death fodder. Because it's really not going to be doing anything against his last two Pokemon. And now I'm just going to be able to bring in my Mian Chow. And basically clean up his team with scarfed high jump kicks. Uh, so yeah, that's the match. Um, 
I really, really like this UU team. I usually don't play too much UU, but uh, I, I I like to mix it up. But yeah. Um, so tomorrow on my channel, I will be starting a new series. It is a Minecraft series. Uh, so look out for that. Um, otherwise, if you enjoyed the battle, you can feel free to leave a like. If you want to see more videos, you can subscribe to my channels. But otherwise, I'm out of here. Peace out, have a good day, and 